Well, I've been having a bit of trouble just lately with um, RealPlay and Chrome, and uh, I've been having trouble downloading little bits and pieces that I want to keep um, from YouTube, which uh, they used to be quite easy to get, but at the moment I just can't seem to get them. And uh, what happens is that um, they either come down as a, a sound file or they come down as an FLV. And uh, normally they used to come down as MPEG-4s and things like this, but there are FLVs I can see and sometimes I can read them and sometimes I can't. I don't, I don't exactly know what's happening. Anyway, uh, and it won't download everything that I want. So what I did, I went onto the onto the main network and um, I put in real player uh, can it down uh, videos it can download the video but no sound or I can download uh, with real player sound but no video and I got all sorts of things about codecs and um, uh, doing this and doing that and doing everything else and um, I got a bit frustrated with it because none of it seemed to work. It said check your sound values and check your your um, this and your that. And I'm running two machines at the moment. I have, I have got three machines. I've only got one that's any good, but the other two are a bit rubbishy. I've had them for years and years and years. Uh, one is a very early one, and uh, the other one's uh, an, uh, an i3, Intel i3. And uh, I could download RealPlay, and it, it worked perfectly. But now it's it's just uh, it's just not behaving at all. So um, I've I've been putting up with it for about two or three weeks really, and not getting this and not getting that, and things haven't been happening, and I've been a bit frustrated because it it worked all the time, and I was thinking about buying Real Player, and it said uh, what happens is that Real Player, when you buy it, it moves faster, three times faster. Well, anyway, I went on and I put down into the internet uh, download videos and uh, this thing came up and it's called iLivid small i l i v i d iLivid and uh, it's a download manager and what it does it just does an url but it's very good if you use it with real player so what you do is when you pick select what you want in real player and you go up to the the top and you look at the top in real player and it'll give you the url wh where it's coming from and what it's called and if you highlight it and click on it and say copy and then you go down to this iLivid player which is your download manager and you click on it and you, you say it's a little thing it's got paste and you say paste and it pastes it and then it downloads it as quick as you can. It, it really downloads it fast there's no mess and this i live it is it's free it's a download manager it's free um and it, it puts it into a, an area that you might not know but it doesn't matter because if you go into where it says download on the side it's very very simple to operate you go into where it says download and it shows you where they all are so all you do is you keep going to the url copy the url paste the url and then go to download and check it's there and it, it's brilliant it's, <laughs> but you've got to use real player as well with it so, because uh, you need the URL to put in, but uh, if if anybody knows what I'm talking about, it definitely works. The only problem is that I see is that the iLivid download, the iLivid download manager, is a small. It's a free bit of coding, and uh, you don't pay anything for it. But it has got bugs in it, which come from somebody else. Somebody else is messing about with this. Some buggers are on the net, doing it all the time. Like they're spoiling it for everybody. But there's somebody on there putting something in that's 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 dangerous. But I've got Norton on my on mine, and uh, it downloaded it. And Norton said uh, this one is clear. So there is a couple of clear ones. So go to the ones that are clear. But you've got to be running a, a what they call them to download it. I would I wouldn't go out messing about. You need McAfee or Norton or or some good um, uh, virus detection thing. But uh, I, I've had no problem, and it really works, and I'm very, very pleased with it. So there you are. <laughs> anyway, I hope that's some value for anybody. And I put it, 
I put mine in on the 14th of the 7th 2013 so it's as, it's as late as that that's the date I've put it in and I've had no problems and I've had nothing from Norton to say that there's anything in there and it, it did say it was virus free but there are some that are not virus free so be very careful what you put in anyway if it says uh, this has got a virus are you sure you want to put it in don't use it but there are some good clean ones and it's a bloody good program it really is a good program it actually works it's one I've been looking for but it only takes the URL it doesn't it doesn't come it's not like real play it doesn't do all the thing for you so you've got to you've got to go back into um, you've got to go back into real play to get the URL so you, you download whatever it is you want you find out where you want to be you look at it then you go to the URL copy the URL paste it into I live it because you've got other two pro programs running together um, once you've copied it into there it just puts it into a, a download area go to the download thing and it takes you into the download and there it is and then you can drag and drop it anywhere you want on your on your desktop and it's very good <laughs> I'm quite pleased anyway I'll stop there so I've been going a bit long and uh, my face is a bit messy because I've got a scholarship in rash that's all anyway I'll see you